when I originally got the title, it was difficult because I thought I was going to end up having to write more or less what I've written in the past in this class. But I eventually, I came, I came up with like a connecting end of smoke to like the, like how there's no smoke in when a satellite disintegrates and then I work that back to um, the story of Lack of the Dog, um, which is what this story is entirely based on. It's more or less, it's a, um, just a creative rendition of what, of that story. It's a creative rendition of that story that like tries to humanize Laika because it's just such a sad story that would benefit from something like that. Poured paint on the canvas and I used the um, palette knife to spread it across. So there's not a much, there's not, there wasn't a bunch of mixing that went into it. I just like kind of poured it on and then whoosh. Hey, there's this artist named um, Mona, I forget her last name, but she's very good with textured paintings. And I felt like I wanted to do something with layers of texture and I decided to do wildfire. The paint sometimes would crack so I had to figure out why the acrylic was cracking. And when I put it on thick, that's when it was cra that's when it was cracking. So I had to do lighter layers just on top of each other. So that was one thing that I came across. But other than that, it was um other than like some different differentiation in colors as I went along, that was my major um like difficulty. My original vision was to like have it more detailed, but um, like I wanted to have like a tree in the center and then like the pop would be the um, sky, it's, pop is still the sky, but um, it changed because then I did, I, instead of doing a tree in the middle, like I planned with the mountains and then sky, I changed it from layers of um, layers of trees in the foreground. I want people to first like have the sky catch their eye and then um, I've always had a fascination with nature and I just hope to instill that into the hearts of my viewers.